Hey y'all, I'm Brandon Gaming, and this video has been on my agenda for quite some time now, longer than it was intended, so I apologize for the sizable delay between the announcement and this list. Anyways, a couple of months ago, as y'all probably know, I asked you viewers to send me what you thought were the hardest Super Mario Maker levels that were not Kaizo based. I then took all the levels that were submitted and decided which ones I thought were the hardest out of all of them, based on my skill level. So today I present you with the top 10 hardest non-Kaizo Super Mario Maker levels as submitted by the viewers. By the way, I also excluded most troll levels from this list, seeing as how I've already done two lists devoted to such levels. With all that said, let's start the torture. Apple Pie is definitely a hard level, but it gets the lowest ranking on this list because I actually felt like I could beat it without spending eternity trying. It's long, sure, but the challenges it presents aren't too difficult, and I was almost able to get to the second checkpoint while attempting to finish this level. So yeah, I found myself liking this stage despite being on this list, because it was difficult and fair enough to where it presented a challenge that was enjoyable. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys! It's John C. <laughs> John Cena's Koopaling Manor is only so hard and frustrating because its long structure presents many opportunities to mess up, stifling progress by a good amount. The gimmick behind this level isn't that hard. You're expected to bounce off of Koopa shells and then jump off the Koopas that slide off them. However, the difficulty comes from all of the spikes in the way that will kill you if you're not pixel perfect with the jumps. Luckily, there are checkpoints, but there is a good amount of space between them, so it'll take some time to reach these. Also, if you're wondering what John Cena has to do with this level, I have no idea. <laughs> it's probably better not to question it. The Blooper Fan Club takes things up a notch as it gives you a pixel perfect auto scrolling challenge where you have to platform off of bloopers while avoiding falling into spikes. Not only is it a long level, but the difficulty increases greatly with each checkpoint that you pass. And did I mention that if you lose the power up at all, then you've already failed the level? It's truly an unforgiving test of skills, which will kill you many, many times. This stage is another pixel perfect speedrun, except in this level, instead of the auto scroll pushing you along, the 100 second timer does. While it has a lower percentage clear rate than most others on this list, it gets a lower ranking due to the fact that over 2,000 people have cleared it, the most clears on a level on this list by a long shot. But believe me, the fact that this many people have cleared it doesn't mean that this level is a cakewalk. <laughs> oh no, it's far from it. Hey look guys, it's another pixel perfect speedrun level! I think I'm noticing a trend here, except this time, instead of an auto scroll or a 100 second timer, you only get 20 seconds to beat this level, and man is that time limit restrictive. Even when I thought I performed an almost perfect run of this level, I didn't even get anywhere close to the axe on the bridge. Unless I'm missing something, this level is much, much harder than the other speedrun levels we've covered. Dark Souls is truly the Dark Souls of Mario Maker levels, am I right? <laughs> Dark Souls, number 5 on our list, is a level entirely based around the Goomba Shoe gimmick, hence the pun in the name. Not only does this level require you to be ridiculously precise with your jumps, you also have to be crazy quick with them too, as certain mechanics in this level do not work when you don't use them fast enough. It's also surprisingly lengthy, so if you want to try and beat this level, you gotta make sure that you have a lot of free time ahead of you. The Fifty Shades of Flames, number 4 on our list, is a level that uses the flame bars as its main weapon. If you mess up even once during this run, the flame bars will immediately kill you, even if just barely. Seeing as how I can't get past the first two screens of this level, it astounds me that not only can people beat this, but that someone had enough time to create such a precise level using only flame bars. Anything that involves jumps and spikes is immediately a bad idea, but sadly, Koopas and Spikes is entirely based around these combined mechanics. This is the type of level where you'll die within the first screen time after time after time, trying to bounce off these stupid Koopas without slipping at once. Then you might get this actually really good run and think you really made it far, only to realize that you didn't even make it one third of the way through the level and come to the conclusion that it's almost impossible. Besides, you don't really have the time to complete this level and it's not even fun in the slightest. For these reasons, Koopas and Spice snacks number 3 on our list. Oh boy, do you guys recognize this guy? 
Yeah, he was the creator of a dish best serve mold. Uh, number two on my trolliest levels list. Gosh golly, I wonder how good this level is gonna be. Oh no, no, I'm not going through this again. Not a chance. And at number one on our list, we have the Sea of Despair, which is definitely the hardest underwater Mario Maker level that I've played, ever. Right off the bat, this level takes advantage of a gimmick that most people don't know about, where the player is forced to swim underneath the spikes under this visible screen and must surface on the other side while avoiding getting killed by Boo Buddies. Sound easy? Well, it's totally not. And that's just the first section of the level, mind you. See all this other crap? Yeah, if you somehow manage to get past the Boo Buddies, you'll have to deal with all of this. Oh yeah, and this level has a 0% clear rate, by the way. So don't even try beating this level, honestly. Unless you're a Super Mario Maker Super Pro, there's almost certainly no way you'll be able to defeat this monstrosity. Well, my dudes and dudettes, those were what I thought were the hardest non kaiser levels that y'all sent me. Do you have another level that you think would take number one on this list? Make sure to comment down below if you do, and hit those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed this video, as it really helps the channel grow. Before I end this video off, I'd like to get a quick shout out to Super Smash Bros. Replays, who recently became a sponsor on my channel. So subscribe to him, stay tuned for more Mario Maker, and with all that said, Bramble Gaming, over and out.